This is the work track and it consists of 26 sculptures. It's just some form of a collective of a family, a tribe, a, a people, a flock, a group, a, a crew, a posse. Figures that happen to be in the same place at the same time together. That's what they are. My name is Gabriel Lester. I'm a visual artist, teacher and filmmaker. I was invited by the South London Gallery to conceive an artwork for the Pelican Estate and for the Open Plan project. We did a site visit initially. I was introduced to people from the community, the people that live here. I started to look around for a space where I could imagine a work and this, this was it. And it immediately sparked an idea that I was going to deal much more with figures and people and individuals and bodies, if you like. Around about the time that I started thinking about this piece, I was doing a research into the way we can understand the sculptural form to be a physical body and actually have a body language. I was looking into how an artwork can be like this or like this or how it could be like this or, or like that. And, and, I, and I wanted to create a set of forms or figures that would actually, um, when you'd look at them, you'd have the feeling that here's a bunch of figures on the move, climbing or you know walking against the wind or walking, looking around. So I wanted to find a shape that could articulate these kinds of uh, movements and then bring them together as a collection of migrants somehow, of foreign bodies uh, traveling through this estate. The colors are like slightly toxic. They don't really look like any live animal you've ever seen, but I wanted it to be a bit of an alien, outlandish, uncanny to a degree appearance. They're scaled to have the size of maybe a, a child, and I also think they're inviting to the children that live here to play, to interact with. When you're on the ground, you see the movement of the inclination of the body, whereas if you look from above, you see actually the movement of the, of the, of the group. Imagine, you know, there's a group of kids here and say like, okay, you know, school's out and then they're like, ah, they start running. So this is what happens. This is the moment where the climax of a moment is caught as a frozen time sculpture. I quite like it. I like the fact that it was here and it's unusual and it's a talking point. I think people are very pleased we have something like this happening locally. What do they remind you of when you see them in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> They're meant to be te tentacles, aren't they? But yeah, I think it's brightened up a bit. They're a little bit abstract. You can't really see a meaning to them. They're completely like random, but I really like them. There was a project where we got to make these. The work will be up for about two years, maybe longer, but it's a very important aspect of the piece that in fact it, it embeds itself within the fabric of, uh, of the community, that people actually develop a relationship to them.